morning year two today we're going to start our new project new topic called proportional reasoning and in this topic we're going to take a closer look and build up on the work that we did in the autumn and spring terms on multiplication and division now today's learning we're going to um recall and use multiplication and division facts for the two times table vocabulary that you will be hearing over the course of this lesson and other lessons are multiply another word for multiply is times double and when we double we multiply by two lots of groups of an array and remember an array is a picture version of a multiplication and division fact row column divide and another word for divide is share divided and divisor now divisor is the number that we divide by So first of all, we're going to practice counting on in twos, but for today, we're going to just stop at 30. So here's my number square. And if you notice on my hundred square, I have circled the numbers as I've counted on in twos. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Take a closer look at the numbers I've circled. What do you notice about the numbers? Look carefully at the sequence. Which numbers are being repeated? Pause the video and talk to an adult about it. So when I look, as I count on in twos, the following numbers keep repeating in the ones column. I've got two, four, six, eight, zero. And those numbers are repeated again in the next row. So let's practice counting again. We have two, four, six, eight. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Pause the video and see if you can count on in twos to 100. So we're just going to recap and what we do to represent 7 multiplied by 2. Now, in the spring term, we use the term array. And remember, an array is a pictorial version of the multiplication. So here I have an array, and across, I've got 2 across, and I've got 7 going down. So here's an array that shows 7 times 2. We can also write it as a repeated addition. So I've got 2, add another 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 2. Or I could draw pictures. So I've got two frogs sitting on a lily pad, another two frogs. So I've got one lot of two, two lots of two. Another lot of two, so that's three groups of two. I've got four groups of two, five groups of two, six groups of two, seven groups of two. So I've represented two ways to show seven times two, which is 14. Okay. 
If we also refer back to the work that we did in spring term, if I know that 7 times 2 is 14, so there's my array that shows 2 across and 7 going down, there's my repeated addition. I also know that 2 times 7, so I've got 7 across, 7 across and another 7 across, so 2 times 7 is 14. And we say that 7 times 2 and 2 times 7 is commutative because what we've done is we've just reversed the numbers but it still gives the same answer. So I know that if I know that 7 times 2 is 14, then 2 times 7 is 14. I can also say that 14 divided by 2 is 7. I'm going to recap again and we're going to think about how do I represent 20 divided by 2 or 20 shared between 2. So as you can see, I have an array there and I've got 20 all together and I'm going to put those 20 into two groups. So here's my first group and here's my second group. So I've taken 20 and I've put it into two groups, I've shared it into two groups. Now below, I've got 20 fishes and I'm going to group them into twos. So I've got one, two groups of two, three groups of two, four, four groups of two, five groups of two, six groups of two, seven groups of two, eight groups of two, nine groups of two, ten groups of two. So 20 divided by two equals I'm going to show you how to solve missing number problems. So we're going to work out what is the missing number. So something times 2 equals 8. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is draw an array that shows 8. And I'm going to be counting in twos. So I've got 2, 4, 6, 8. So I'm going to count how many twos it took to get to 8. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4. So now I'm going to write down the answer. So something times 2 equals 8. Well, it took 4 twos to make 8. So the answer is 4. Okay, this is what we're going to do together. And you're going to pause the video and talk to an adult or a sibling. What is the missing number? Something times 2 equals 16. What will you draw to help you? That's right, an array. So here's the array. So I've counted in twos until I got to 16. What were you counting? Talk to an adult or a sibling and pause the video. That's right, you're counting in twos. So we've got one, two, three groups of two, four groups of two, five groups of two, six groups of two, seven groups of two, eight groups of two. 
So now I'm going to write down the answer. So how many twos did you count? That's right, you counted. Okay, now we're going to have a look at how to solve missing numbers for division. So what is the missing number? I've got something and I'm going to divide it by two and it gives me the answer of four. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw an array that shows four lots of two. So I've got one lot of two, two lots of two, three lots of two, four lots of two. Now I'm going to count on in twos in four times. So I've got two, four, six, eight. So now I write the answer. So 8 divided by 2, or 8 shared between 2, gives me 4. This is where you're going to talk to an adult or a sibling. What is the missing number? Something divided by 2 equals 9. What will your array look like? Pause the video and discuss it with an adult. It should show nine lots of two. So there's mine. How will you count? Pause the video and talk to an adult. You should count on in twos nine times. So we've got two, four, six, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Now write down the answer. So 18 divided by 2 equals 9. 18 shared between 2 equals 9. For your fluency, there are four big questions. For your first question, complete the missing numbers by counting in twos. Look back at the video, beginning of the video or look at the slides to help you. Number two, show how you would represent these multiplication and division problems. Remember when we represent, we're drawing arrays. Question number three, you've got to find the missing numbers. Look at the examples on the slides and fill in the missing numbers of where the box is. And number four, if you know that nine times two is 18, what else do you know? I want you to write the family facts, including a division sum. Top tip, think commutative. For your probing question, you have two. What's the same and what's the difference? Remember, you have to work out the answer to those problems before you tell me what's the same and what's different. And then in the second question, Convince me that if I know 13 times 2 is 26, I want you to write down three other facts you would know from that multiplication. For further extension, and only move on to this question when you are really confident and you've answered the probing question. If you're not confident, confident just stay and practice your two times tables jane says that because she knew that 12 times 2 is 24 she also knows that 2 times 12 is 24 24 divided by 2 is 12 and 12 divided by 2 is 24 is she correct explain I hope you've enjoyed learning about 
using your multiplication and division facts for the two times table. Tomorrow, we're going to look at the 10 times table. For further practice with your two times table, you can sing along the song on number jacks to help you. Bye for now.